Now that you have spent some time creating your own Van Gogh inspired sunflowers drawing using the other QR code, it is time for you to decide what you're going to do with this drawing in the time that you have left in art class before summer break. And so the first thing that you're probably going to need to do is double check your drawing and see if there is anything missing. Sometimes when you follow directions that someone else is giving you, their paper might be bigger and yours might be smaller and so things might end up in a different place. For example, when I was following the directions that the man on the other video was giving, I ended up with this nice vase, but right in here there is an empty space. I need to show either the top of the vase which he didn't show in the video because he didn't need to on his drawing, or I need to show a stem for this flower. This flower seems to be just floating around, or some leaves or something to fill the gap. You need to look at your picture, look all over, and see if you have anything that is floating or something that needs to be added to make it look more complete. I'm gonna add the top of the vase for this flower. It still looks like it's floating, so I'm going to add a stem too. I also have some empty, just some things that look weird to me, my opinion, so I'm going to add a few leaves just to fill it out a little bit. You fix yours up how you want it to be. Remember, you're not exactly copying Vincent Van Gogh. You're doing your own design of something that he made very popular. Now, once all of your design is how you want it to be, the next thing you must do is you must outline everything with a black Sharpie. So go to the black Sharpie box and grab yourself one or two, in case you get a dead one, and start tracing. Now that that's completely outlined, you know the next thing. Grab an eraser and erase any of the pencil marks that you can still see. And now that those pencil marks are all tidied up, it's time to start thinking about what you're going to do with the rest of this artwork. I want you to start by going over to the artist gallery that's hanging on the wall and find the Sunflowers painting by Vincent van Gogh. I want you to look at it very closely and I want you to study things about it, like what colors he used. Can you see the brush strokes or the marks that he made while he was painting? Let the things that you see in the picture be an inspiration for how you want to color your sunflowers. I'm giving you many, many choices of materials. You can use markers, colored pencils. I have these special cool little plastic crayons. You can use oil pastels. You can even use watercolor if you want. Let's limit our choices to just these tools. You can use just one or you can use all of them combined into your artwork if you wish. The sky's the limit. This is where you get to use total creativity and totally your artist brain thinking independent thoughts about how you want to complete your artwork couple things that I do request is good craftsmanship. Even though you are in charge of this project from here on out, it is still an artwork. It should still be your best effort. Whatever supplies you are using, you should use them correctly. You should do your very best, color inside the lines and all that. Make things complete and thorough. No scribbling, of course, and cover everything. Background and tabletop included, as well as the vase and the flowers and leaves. No white allowed, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So have fun, think it through, think like an artist, and act like an artist, and, and show me when you are finished. If you have any questions along the way, please ask me, because I love artistic questions. Have fun.